wife and I used to work at this, uh, uh, we used to work at a, a, a freight company. We moved freight uh, across the country. And uh, she worked as the HR person, human relations, hiring, firing, personnel, that sort of thing. Uh, I worked, um, I traced shipments and did some programming, computer programming, that sort of thing. I did, uh, if anything went wrong with the computers, I fixed them, whatever. The guy behind me uh, did the dispatching. He did, uh, you know, he would call truckers to pick things up and deliver them, that sort of thing. So, uh, the way the office was set up, my wife, the, the, there was the, the front reception area, which had a big conference table in it. And then behind that, um, there was a, well, there was the conference table. Then there was a desk and reception. Then there was a wall, and in that wall was a huge uh, mirror uh, 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 window. Okay, so you could see everything that was going on in reception. And then there was my wife's desk, uh, and then my desk, and then the dispatcher's desk. So every once in a while, uh, you know, we would lose. Like all companies, we would lose company, lose people, and gain people. And uh, so they put an end the paper, and then you know people would come in for the uh, people would come in for the job, whatever it was. So uh, we would get uh, all manner of people, but here's what would happen: when somebody would come in to apply for a job, my wife would do the interview. She'd go up into reception to do the interview, and. Uh, yeah, she go up in reception to do the interview. Now, because of the way the office was set up, we could see everything that happened in reception. And she would put the person uh, that she was interviewing with her back, with their back towards us, and then she would be on the other side so we could see her face, right? So me and the guy behind me, we would see this person come in, and, and sometimes it'd be a girl. A lot of times it'd be a girl. In fact, most of the time. And uh, so, <laughs> me and the guy behind me, <laughs> we'd get pieces, we'd look at the girl, right? She'd come in and we'd like, eh, we'd size her up and we'd like, eh. And then we'd get pieces of paper and uh, we'd put numbers on them like the Olympics guys and we'd hold them up. And my wife is sitting there trying to conduct an interview in reception. <laughs> Me and the guy behind me are holding up like ratings, like, yeah, 10, yeah, 8.6, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. And she's got to keep a straight face. And, and we got to hope that the girl doesn't turn around, that she doesn't, that my wife doesn't draw attention to what we're doing, and the girl turns around, because that would just be, you know, if we're sitting there holding up signs, rating the girl, and she sees it, oh, man, we're in trouble. So, uh, <laughs> the other thing we used to do when I worked there, um, I started this. I had a drawer in my desk that I didn't have any use for. I didn't have, any, I didn't have anything to put in it. So, what I'd do is, you know, I'd write stuff down on a piece of paper and I didn't need it anymore. So, I'd wad it up in a piece. I'd just wad it up. Well, instead of throwing the paper wads away, I'd throw them in that drawer. So and then every once in a while, when things got quiet, I'd reach my, I'd I'd open up the door real quietly, ro open up the drawer quietly, and I'd grab a paper wad. And there was a guy that sat over here, that worked with the railroads and stuff, and so and and I'd zing a paper wad over my shoulder like this at him, <laughs> and uh, and then every once in a while he'd zing one at me and. And every once in a while, I'd zing one at my wife, you know, when it would get quiet. And every, and then every once in a while, once in a while, I'd get a drawer full. I mean, just, a, there must have been a hundred pieces of wadded up paper in there. And at that point, it became a snowstorm. Yeah, it, it just, you know, the pressure would get too much, it'd get too quiet, whatever it is. And I'd reach hand, I'd reach both hands in there and just zing paper wads. Just, just, just handfuls of paper wads all over the office, you know, and then people are throwing them back and all this kind of stuff. So that's what we did to amuse ourselves at the freight company. So 
comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.